Hello, Mark Thomas here, and welcome to my home outdoors channel. Today is a beautiful summer day in Michigan, and I have a brand new Karcher 2000 PSI electric pressure washer that I want to review and test out. I just did an unboxing video the other day, and today I am going to thoroughly test it out and see how it works. Um, I'll just show you real quick. The pressure washer comes with a couple different ones, one for general purpose clean, and this one right here, this is the dirt blaster tip right there. That's a real heavy duty uh, cleaning tip. And I'll just tell you a little bit about what they advertise. That this uses 80% less water than a garden hose. It has up to 40 times the pressure of a garden hose. And this electric motor is unique to uh, the other ones because it's a water cooled induction motor, which gives it superior performance and a longer life. So that's what I'm hoping for that I'll get many years of use out of this particular X-Series washer. So here it is. Let me move the box out of the way. The Karcher 2000 PSI electric pressure washer. Let's go through and see how it works. Okay, so one of the features with this being electric, I've never owned an electric pressure washer, but it does have a GFI built in, which is a nice, I'm sure it's probably a safety feature required with all electric pressure washers, but that does have the test and reset button on it so you don't electrocute yourself. Uh, here's where the garden hose water inlet goes, and this is the on-off switch. I don't have it plugged in yet. Uh, here there's an onboard detergent taken back, and you can dial in how much soap you want to put on what you're cleaning. Here's the detergent tank in back. You just fill it up. And they basically have two types of detergent. This is their all-purpose cleaner right here. Then they have another one that's for automotive that's like a no-spot rinse type cleaner. But you just pour it in there. And this has the hose right there goes all the way to the bottom, the clear siphon hose. And they say when you're done just to rinse it out thoroughly uh, so you don't have detergent sitting in there while you're not using it. Um, yeah, so one of the benefits of electric is you don't have to deal with gasoline. If you want to store it inside your house somewhere, you can do that. If you run this inside your garage or pole barn where it's enclosed, you don't have to worry about gas fumes. So this is very quiet uh, compared to gas. So I'm ready to test it out. I haven't really um, poured any detergent in it yet or really ran it more than like a minute. So I'm excited to get this thing going. So let's go the next step. I'll uh, get some get the hose and the power cord over here and we'll get it started. Okay, so here is the detergent. There is an easy mixing. Uh, but this isn't really made for the onboard detergent. This is if you want to mix like your own hand soap like in a five gallon bucket and do your own cleaning. Uh, typically like two ounces per gallon is what most um, cleaners recommend. So this I just unscrew and pour it in back here. Cap on. All right. Reset, turn it on. Ooh, got a water leak. Mmm, not good. Okay, I fixed the solution. I happen to have that thread on the wrong way. So the black goes to the black side, the yellow goes to the garden hose. So let's try that again. All right, water is turned on. So this is ready to go. Watch this. this is how I remove streaks on a trailer. This white cargo trailer is only about a year old and it really hasn't seen much road use so it just over time collects dirt flying in the air and I use this black streak remover with a pressure washer. I just sprayed it on there. I'm going to let it set up for a minute and I'm going to get a brush and scrub it in and then I'm going to rinse it. Alright so here I found at Home Depot it's a nice unger. It's probably about a foot wide. Just a nice soft bristle brush and I'm going to work this the black streaks in Oh, you can see it remove it right away. Wow. Just do it one panel at a time. Wow. Takes them right off. Stuff works great. Yep. All right. Time to rinse it.
All right, you can see the difference. It pretty much only took a couple minutes. Get it. All right, let's blast away. All right, so this is the typical cleaning wand right here. This is the dirt blaster. It almost looks like some kind of a military weapon. So you just twist it, pull the other one out, put the other one in, pull it in, twist. And this is a rotor reaction. It says up to 50 times more cleaning power. So it's like a rotor reaction. This is really good for concrete and walkways. You can see. You can hopefully see that where it's lightened up the concrete just on that side alone. So this, uh, along with some concrete cleaner, would work really good for cleaning the sidewalk. So, All right, I'm finding as you own one of these that a snowball effect happens, which means like once you clean something, then you, uh, you finish that pretty easy, then you're like, oh, hey, here's something else. And then next thing you know, you're cleaning all kinds of stuff that you normally wouldn't clean. So here's like one of the kids' pedal tractors. Soap it up a little bit. Hey, what's next? The kids' picnic table with bird droppings. Uh, you get the picture, right? All right, so here are my final thoughts on the Karcher electric pressure washer. Uh, one thing I would say is it does go through a lot of soap if you put it on max, so I'd probably dial it down a little bit. For the things that I washed, I went through, uh, I think this is like $8 or so, and this has a little bit of a fragrance, a little bit like a like an 80s cologne kind of aftershave smell. Nothing too strong, but just a little hint of that. Just thought I'd mention it. Um, the one thing I really have this to compare to, I do own a 2750 gas pressure washer. So, you know, you can tell the difference. It's not that extra amount of PSI uh, does have more power than this, but this is really nice. The fact that it's electric, as soon as you let go of it, it just is completely silent. And, and the sound when it's running is much quieter than a gas, which I like. And the onboard reel is great. Um, the on off right here works good. The onboard detergent tank, that's not something I have. It's kind of a pain with my other one. I always have to find that hose. Um, and yeah, you can just roll it around. I, I guess my only concerns are the fact of it being plastic. If you're transporting it, you don't want to slam this around too much. Uh, plastic is um, brittle if it falls on it. Um, but as long as you, I think this, or you're careful rolling it around, try not to ever let it tip over, you'll be good. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you find it worthwhile. And please comment and subscribe. If you have any thoughts, I'd really like to hear them. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Yeah, there's all kinds of cool electric unit accessories. Right angle cleaning wand, four piece extension wand, telescopic wand, foam nozzle wand, chassis cleaner. You can roll this baby underneath your car and do an undercarriage cleaning. All kinds of cool stuff. Check it out.